Today is a swing speed training day. We're, we're kicking it up a notch. Let's go. Uh, PRGR uh, launch, launch monitor. This is great. Link in the description below for these guys. They're really good. I use it to check my swing speed. Indoors, there we go. There's that. A lot of people have seen uh, me working on some swing speed stuff or a while. And then I've gotten a lot of messages that I should try this device out that we're going to use today. By the way, thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate you taking the time to watch a video. Always here just to try to help our game and show you products that uh, may or may not help your game. And I try to be, I, I am as honest as I can be because I don't want you guys to just go waste your money on stuff you don't need. So we're checking out Aero Swing today. Okay, right off the bat, I have to say that I, I typically do not like things where it takes a lot of stuff, okay? So oh, th this has a lot of stuff, but open mind, right? Open mind. So it comes with, I've got the, they have different options available, youth, adult, minis, regular, one, two, you can get three of these things. I have two of these pieces. They're like plastic, wiffle looking fans. Uh, looks like a cheese grater, a round cheese grater. And you, you affix these to your club. You do that. See, this is, this is where all the other components come in that I particularly normally don't like. So you got these connectors. This thing basically is a T uh, that's cut open and that goes on your driver. Put that rubber T down here first. And then you have these um, reuse, that's a good idea actually, the reusable zip tie. Um, to fasten this guy down. That's a scary sound because once you hear that, you, you think that's it's a point of no return, typically. But they have a little uh, little latch on there and you just press it and it, um, it unwinds. Yeah, and you can take it off. They should make all zip ties like that. All right, so that goes on there. Now on the Aero Swing website, you can go there and check out what they have to offer. They have training programs, to, so they specifically show you how to use these in a way and keep track of your progress in like an Excel downloadable form that you can get so you um, can follow along exactly over the weeks that it's gonna take to increase your club head speed. So I've used a number of other devices and I can typically get my swing speed after training up to about 112. Okay. That was the fastest I've gotten to recently. All right. So I'm going to train with this today and we're going to, I'm going to go through like a, a training day and we'll see how fast I can get my club head speed up to after using these. So as I take a break, two minute break, uh, in between sets of stuff, uh, this, it definitely reminds me of something I used to have years ago, which is that fan uh, thing that you would swing. I really like that. That was one of the first swing speed trainers I, I ever used. And I like that. You definitely feel resistance. I'm gonna double up too, today. I don't think you're supposed to, but I'm, I'm going to. Here we go. Okay, um, I didn't like what just happened. That was not good. It shot through the nub and went, all right, that, that could be my fault. Okay, I think I'm supposed to have this on there too. There's another connector. That was my fault. It's a user error. You learn, you have these guys too, these plastic pieces. That has to go on too.
See, it's good I make the mistakes for everybody. You definitely need the, this guy. Don't skimp, put the pieces on and you're good. So far what I like, I like feeling the wind resistance. I do like that. Cause I feel it way up here, like even at the start, I feel like we gotta get speed here to get more speed down here. Who knows, right? But I'm feeling resistance and I feel like the faster you swing it, the more it grabs the air and the more resistance you get, the more drag, the faster you go, which I guess is good. Moment of truth. Let's remove these. Oops, okay. Uh, let's see how easily it comes off because that's important. These little grommets, make sure you use them all. Um, it's like a little washer thing. Okay, this pops off. Yeah, just press down and push the end out. Well, that's easy. Yeah, comes out. So now what we're gonna do is see what is my club head speed after training with arrow. It's just the first first time, all right? But still, with the other things, after I train, I get added club head speed initially. Okay. So here we go. I'm rested, swung a lot. Just swing with that. Let's see how fast I can get my swing up to. No ball. This is just how I test it out. There we go. Whoa. Okay, first swing. I'll tell you what, that felt, it felt fast. Um, all right, first swing. Uh, okay, 115. 115 miles an hour. Honestly, I, I didn't, usually, even with the, other, with the other training, it's like 108, 109, 110, I gotta keep going. First, first one, 115. Okay, let's keep going. A few more swings. 113, it, I mean, it feels fast going back and I really feel the speed starting a lot sooner. Wow, okay. <laughs> 110, I'm getting slower. And the first one was impressive. 114, I'm gonna try, now I'm gonna really try. Those I just, all right, here we're gonna really try, really try to give it all my swing power. Ooh. Holy cow! All right. That's that's trying. Okay, um, one seventeen. I love how the feeling it gives you initial fast club head speed, even right after training for the first time using it. I had got five extra miles per hour than I did using some other training devices I've been using recently. So, so far, so good. Arrow Swing, link in the video description below. Hope you guys like this video. I think it's a good product. Honestly, it's been sitting here for a while. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna, not gonna do it. Then I got a lot of messages. Try this, try this, try this. I did, you were right, it's good. Link below, love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.